off pretty well this season, trying to continue the momentum. They've gotten some great minutes out of Jeff Green. Paul Pierce has also been a big factor for them. And a tough matchup, but the Heat staying afloat. Hard to find a lot to like about their performance so far. They'll need to pay much better attention in the second half to the details. The details. The first half, a letdown for Ray Allen. Not many positives for him so far. Just one bucket from the floor. And you know what time it is. It's your chance to make your picks for the day. That's all we've got here. Now, back to Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris for the second half. looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Look at the night for Dwayne Wade. He's got seven points and one assist. Austin with the ball. It's a five-point game. They get to take on the Magic at Orlando after this one. And that'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Mario Chalmers in the electric. D. Wade at the guards. LeBron James is out there with Chris Bosh, and it's Battier in at the three spot. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Been a little too easy for them inside, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so, Steve. I mean, they've really dictated the action in the paint. Uh, that's been their focus, and the defense hasn't mounted much resistance at all. LeBron sets the screen for Wade. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over Bradley. Wade can't hit. Oh, well, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. But when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Gentlemen, the Heat last season decided to revamp their offensive strategy, playing a more free-flowing style to try to take better advantage of their quickness and playmaking ability. Chris Bosh said, we're not just going to go out there and play pickup, but we are going to get into our spacing, make the right cuts, read each other, and just go out there and play. LeBron James said, it suits our personnel. It's been good for us to just read and react. No matter if it's a make or a miss, we want to get the ball up the floor as fast as possible. Well, Doris, when you've got that kind of talent and IQ, playing on instinct can certainly be effective. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Here's Bosch. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. You know, when you're guarding LeBron, you'd prefer him taking outside jumps. He's a solid shooter, a much improved shooter, but he's so devastating and demoralizing going inside. Um, you'd much rather force him to take challenge perimeter shots. Celtics leading by nine. Now here's Rondo. He feeds it to Bradley. He dishes it to Garnett. He's up against Bosch. Three-pointer. Who's back up? And there's the nice layup by Garnett. And the Celtics lead by 11. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Well, he almost always cashes in when he gets to the line. He was about 86% from the free throw line last season. And guys, the numbers don't lie. I mean, he was such a reliable presence at the free throw line all throughout last season. Clark, you mentioned LeBron's jump shot. Steve, it's something he's really worked on. Yeah, you know, when he came into the league, he was very inconsistent with his motion. There were some balance issues, but in the 2008 offseason, he rebuilt his motion, uh, tried to keep his elbow in a little bit more than he did in the past. He's become a much better shooter. He's still a little bit streaky, uh, but still, his game is all about going inside and wreaking havoc in the paint. Chalmers dishes to Wade. Chalmers over Bass. And it's Chalmers that time on the assist by Wade. Chalmers has got six points. 
right side, Rondo. Pass, covered by LeBron. Puts up the baby hook. Garnett kicks to Bass. Sinks that one from the post. He's got six. And that's the way it's been. A big margin for them in the rebounding category. You know, sometimes you got to get down and dirty and do the dirty work. And in this one, they've done it, and it's paid off on the scoreboard in a big way. Here's Chalmers. Kevin Garnett grabs the miss. Garnett's got six rebounds here tonight. Bradley kicks to Pierce. He passes it to Rondo over Chalmers. Rondo gets the bucket. Rondo's got four this quarter. Well, when you watch Doc Rivers communicate with his team, you can see how much respect his players have for him. Uh, he's, he's funny, he's smart, he's witty, and he's not afraid to get on his guys either, which I think is important. And they respond to him, no question. Kicks it to Pierce. Pierce gets the screen from Garnett. Jumper off the screen. And again, it's Boston converting. Well, he's got the special ability, Kevin, to make shots while being heavily guarded. And I don't know how he does it, but he figures out a way to get the ball in the basket, even under pressure. And another one of his great qualities is his clutch play at winning time. He loves those big moments and always seems to come through for him. And a new group in for the Celtics. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for Bosch. Lewis comes in for LeBron. James Jones, he's checked in for Shane Battier. And it's Allen in for Dwayne Wade. And for Coach Doc Rivers of the Boston Celtics, great charisma. A, a truly, Steve, a player's coach. He, he's very intuitive, I think, the way he, he maneuvers around the profession and deals with his players. And it shows, Kevin, Jesus when we have those in-game clips, you know, when the coaches are mic'd up and sometimes we'll hear comments that Doc is making to his team. It's so great to listen to. He might be my favorite coach to listen to on the sidelines in those circumstances because he, he communicates so well. He's funny, but he gets his point across. He's tough. Uh, just an amazing coach. Haslam against Lee. Pass to Green. Baseline jumper. And that one's good. Green's got eight. Well, of the two teams offensively, they've been more oriented towards those mid-range shots. Yeah, Stephen, they're focused on getting open quality looks, whether it's from behind the arc or inside the arc, and right now it's been more inside the arc. Now Chalmers to end the run. Got it off in time, but it's no good. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. 43. It's the Celtics up 19. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. This Saturday, Drew Holiday and the Philadelphia 76ers go up against Tim Duncan and the San Antonio Spurs. It's East and West. Make sure to catch it. As the fourth quarter gets going, let's swing it over to Doris Burke to find out who's had the Sprite uncontainable game. Doris? And Kevin, for that great stretch the Celtics put together, they get the Uncontainable Game Award. They found the right time to catch fire and have a distinct advantage as we head to the court. We'll see if it will be enough for them to pull out the win. Okay, Doris, thank you. And that was quite a run, guys. That made a big impact on where we are right now. Yeah, I think that's safe to say, Kevin. It was a major turning point. You know, they really hit on something that, in the blink of an eye, had them scoring almost at will. Well, you've got to share the credit for that kind of run. I mean, you can't just say it was all about offense. There was some stingy, stiff defense being played, too. On the court right now for the Celtics. Rajon Rondo and Avery Bradley out there in the backcourt. Bass and KG, the big ticket, patrol the inside. And it's Pierce in at the small forward. Rondo kicks to Bradley. Garnett with a screen on Wade. Rondo passes to Garnett. And it's good coming on the is.
This by Rajon Rondo. And it's seven points for Garnett. Wade outside. Back to LeBron. Over Garnett. LeBron can't get it to go. Big lead on the boards usually equals a big lead in the game. This team is on cruise control. Well, the rebounding differential is double digits already, so this is a team that just looks bigger and tougher than the opponent. From 11 feet away, and again, Kevin Garnett. Garnett's got four this quarter. Boy, what a great job of getting into the teeth of the defense and scoring in the paint. And that's been their main point of attack. I mean, get the ball deep and try to score from in tight rather than rely on the outside shooting. I mean, that's a more consistent way to score it. Take it inside. Ray Allen has checked in for Shane Battier. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. And a moment to check out Miami and who they've got coming up. They're off to Denver after this game as they apply their skills at the Pepsi Center. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how that Memphis game turns out. Celtics making a switch here. Terry's checked in. Celtics leading by 21. Garnett left side. Terry outside. Addition out to Pierce. Over Allen. And there are the Celtics with another basket. It's kind of been their bread and butter here tonight, that mid-range shot. Yeah, you know, and living by the jump shot so far, they're living luxuriously and lavishly. Here's LeBron. LeBron. That's good. James. LeBron's now got four points this quarter. Right now, they're just pillow-like inside. Way too soft. Too many looks at and around the hoop. Yeah, totally agree, Clark. Ten of the last 12 points now that they surrendered have come inside that lane area. Here's Rondo. Knocks down the three ball. Man, offensive execution has been the story here. Just playing beautiful basketball. And, guys, you can see it in their advantage in field goal percentage. I mean, you get high-quality shots, you're usually going to shoot well. They're playing outstanding basketball. Bosh. Chris Bosh. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's now got three assists in the game. Left side, Pierce. Celtics passing it around. Rondo against Chalmers. Here's Garnett. Can't get it to go. And Miami the other way now. The drive by Wade gets the bucket. Beautiful finesse move right there. I mean, you've got to love that finger roll finish. Celtics leading by 20. Rondo dishes to Bats. He kicks to Garnett. Dishes to Pierce. They double up Pierce over Allen. And that one's good by Pierce. Pierce has got 11 points here in just the second half. LeBron sets the screen for Wade. Wade gets a screen from Bosch. LeBron kicks to Chalmers. Over Rondo. LeBron's shot is good. And it's six points for LeBron. The Celtics have gone five of six in the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Rondo kicks to Pierce. And there's the feed to Garnett. Terry. Pass to Rondo. Feeds it to Bass. Shot clock at six. Shoots a fader. That's good. And this one's pretty much wrapped up. And they know it. I mean, took care of business. Chalk it up as a W, Steve. LeBron gets the screen from Allen. LeBron passes to Allen. Yes, and it's LeBron Man. picking up the assist. He could have used this run a while ago. It may not make much difference now. Yeah, they hit that snooze button a little too much because they showed up late to this game. Rondo kicks to Pierce. 
pass with a screen for Pierce. <laughs> Terrific design oh, on the Pierce. big play, and he lays it in. And that one should remove all doubt about the outcome of this game. This thing's over. Now it's just a matter of what the winning margin's going to be. Wade outside. The pass to LeBron. Bass, and it's Miami with LeBron another. James. Well, he's one of their anchors at the offensive end, guys, because he can make plays like that all the time. And so the Celtics now can just hold on to the ball. Backcourt violation. I'm watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. So both teams changing it up here. Here's Cole. He feeds it to Miller. From downtown, gets it to go. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, Paul Pierce. To the flow, make that, make that, make that. Whoa, make the ground move. That's an, that's an, okay. that's an, say, yay, hey, say, yay, hey, don't we do this every day?